rocket man returned to Dubai in 2012 to defend his hard-earned Dubai Golden Shaheen victory from 2011, a race that saw him claim his first international Group 1. And Sonny King, but rocket man in front, and he's done it this year. Rocket man wins the Golden Shaheen. From that victory in the desert rewarded connections after a frustrating run of seconds in feature races in three countries. Singapore, Hong Kong and Dubai. However, a repeat performance at the world's richest race meeting was never going to be easy. The Americans were back with the factor, a sprinter considered superior to 2011 runner-up Euro Ears. Hong Kong sent commanding Hong Kong sprint winner Lucky Nine. There was Krypton Factor, the star of the lead-up sprints in Dubai, and adding to the intrigue was Sepoy, Australia's champion two-year-old from last season and the best-performed two-year-old in 15 years. Considered by many armchair critics to be well past his best after unplaced efforts in Japan and also Hong Kong at the end of 2011, Rocket Man headed to Dubai after a solid preparation in Singapore. I was happy with his trial yesterday. Obviously that was his last bit of workout and uh, we'll do one or two more workouts uh, maybe on Friday a little off pace and obviously in Dubai we'll give him up a sprint up and then uh, he should be done. It went very well. Felix was very happy with him. It's a very, very nice draw because uh, we can let them do all the hard work from the outside and uh, this time we can keep them honest. Yeah, he's going well, Craig. You know, uh, he's up to all his tricks, which is always a good sign with him. Although it was a stellar field, the talk all week was Rocket Man, and in international betting, he was the dominant favourite. Racing in the Dubai Golden Shaheen and Rocket Man from the inside won the start by three quarters of a length. Giant Ryan left very quickly. Sepoy began well and so did Krypton Factor. In exile out wide is rushing forward. Happy Dubai on the fence behind the pace. Followed by Soul Hitchens, Rush and Rock. Further back is uh, out deep on the track, Lucky Nine. The Factor is second last and Iverbridge Lad a half length away at the tail of the field. First quarter, a score. 23.8 as Rocket Man brings them past the 600 metres mark. Rocket Man is the leader, only narrowly coming under the turn. He's being pressured by Giant Ryan in Exiles a length away, running third. Happy to buy behind them from Krypton Factor, then Hitchens, Soul, Sepoy, both under pressure from Russian Rock, and Lucky Nine to the outside. Rocket Man's in front, coming to the 250. Krypton Factor comes after Rocket Man. Their care of Lucky Nine and Hitchens. Krypton Factor alongside Rocket Man. 100 metres left to go. Krypton Factor takes the lead. Forges clear of Rocket Man and Lucky Nine. And there's number one for Bahrain at the World Cup meeting. Krypton Factor has beaten Rocket Man and Lucky Nine. Had another second in an international race, but gee, he's gone enormous tonight, I thought. Yeah, he went uh, terrific, you know. Seeing that they went 23 the first 400, it was blistering. You couldn't find it to death. We're all thinking about the internationals, who could beat him, uh, none of them in the end, it was a, you know, a local horse. Yeah, he was in my top four, obviously, because he won the, the lead-up race. He's a home, on, the, on the home turf, and uh, obviously with a pace like it was, you were going to get a horse that could run on a bit. Yeah, okay, I'm thrilled with that, you know. He did everything for me. He's such a professional, this horse, you know. Got to the start and he was composed, and he knows exactly what's going on. And uh, I really wanted to get a good start, and I was holding his main... He flew out so fast, he still, his head came up a little bit. But he landed, you know, in front of them, and he was going well in front. The, the American horse pressed him, which wasn't ideal, but, uh, you know, he, he never stopped. The other horse just went by him. I'm thrilled with the run, and, and he ran his race tonight. He went very quick early, yeah, just a little bit too much pressure, do you think, from the American horse? Yeah, absolutely. You know, without him there, then you do come back a little bit more. But, um, as I say, you know, I just dropped my hands on his neck, and he was travelling very, very smoothly. And, um, you know, he, he likes to use his action, so, uh, but very, very gutsy run. I brought him here, he was on top form, and uh, it's just one of those things. Onwards and upwards to the Chris Flyer? Yes, hopefully all's well, pulls up well, and from there to the Chris Flyer. Beaten but far from disgraced, Rocket Man was back to his best with a gutsy effort to hold out some of the world's best sprinters after going at record sectionals in the early part of the race. Many season race watchers were in awe of his performance and given the depth and quality of the field, it was rated as one of his finest runs.